Marxlow, who spoke Marxlow, uh, what was uh, the idea of the people um, who wanted to uh, place the mosque there? That will be one presentation. After that first presentation, we will have this, the, the chance to ask them questions and we are very welcome to have a discussion and even a critical discussion, of course. Maybe a lot of you have in mind what happens in Switzerland several days ago. They had a voting in Switzerland against those minarets from the mosques. You will see there is a minaret too uh, at the mosque uh, in Duisburg and I believe no one has any problem with it. But uh, there can be some questions if it is necessary to have a minaret or not. You can ask those people who will give their presentation um, there. Will be no problem. We already talked to them. You don't have to be too polite and to keep back your questions. You can just ask if you like. No problem. The second presentation will be by a member of the local government of Duisburg. Um, the guy will um, introduce to you the way of integration that the city of Duisburg tries to improve. They have concepts how to um, get the people together and how to have a situation where all the people um, take part in social life. And after that presentation, again, you will have the chance to ask uh, this man questions. You can ask if they are successful, for example, or if there are a lot of problems concerning that. What you should know is that Duisburg Marxlow is uh, not special, but maybe for the, uh, the area, the industrial area of the Ruhrgebiet, as it's called, a quite typical place. It's a typical place because there's a high, a very high unemployment rate. And this high unemployment rate um, depends on the fact that there was a big structural economic change 20, 25 years ago. That means all the steel producing, like Thyssen, you know Thyssen Group, for example, the steel producing companies low down uh, the amount of uh, jobs because they were able to produce the same amount of steel with a lot of a uh, less uh, person employed uh, and it was not only the steel industry it was also um, bergbau coal mining. coal mining it was coal mining industry too even the coal mining industry uh, lost a lot of jobs 20 25 years ago because we, we do need coal uh, uh, at this moment too, but the coal is not produced in Germany, but it comes from Russia, China and so on. That means uh, coal mining low, uh, in decreases here in Germany and a lot of jobs get lost there. Then there's a special thing. In the 1960s and 1970s, Germany took a lot of foreign workers here from Italy, from Turkey, from Yugoslavia, uh, from Greece, and so on. We invited all those people to work here in Germany. Uh, where? In the coal mining and the steel producing industry. The people came here, did a very good job because the, uh, the product of Germany did, uh, increases very high. Germany get very rich from producing all that steel and coal. But after some time, 20 years for example, after 20 years, 25 years, there were no jobs anymore. But the people from Italy, from Yugoslavia, from Turkey, from Greece and so on, of course, they are here, they stay here, they have no other home than the home here in Germany, they are a part of society, but without any perspective uh, for a job. Because the jobs in that area are gone. And now if you want a job, you have to be very high educated. For example, for the IT technology, you have to be high educated. You need a, a, a high school uh, education to get the jobs. And a lot of people there in Duisburg-Marxloh, for example, not Germany too, 
they are unemployed and have only few perspectives about their future. And that is, of course, a special situation. And that is so the background that you should keep in mind when we have our discussions in the mosque later on. So you have there a huge Turkish community of people who are religious and they stood here for a long time, they stay here, now they are in the third or sometimes the fourth generation in Germany and they want to live their religious life and they want to live their culture and that is the basement for all what we have to discuss there. But, as I told you before, after all the presentations there, be critical. You can ask what you want to ask. We must have an open discussion. We must find out what is a good way, what is not a good way, how can we solve our problems in the future. So don't be, I just say it again, don't be too polite. Be polite, of course. Say hello and goodbye. But uh, ask your questions if you have any questions. That's very, very important.